Um, you know, these last few months I've been running around taking care of so many things, but I have not been taking care of myself. So here is our bed. I really like how it all came out. I love the sign above the bed. Good news, Mark seems to have turned the corner today. Hello, hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. Welcome to Crazy Town. <laughs> you can tell Mark is feeling a little bit better because he's being more active, aren't you? Um, welcome to another video. We still do not get a lot of sleep last night, but we're just like trudging forward. We're not even going to talk about it. Maybe if I don't talk about it, it won't um, keep happening. Mark's still not feeling great. He's feeling better. It's just getting over this cough has been the worst part. So he's still taking his inhaler um, and his antibiotic and stuff like that. But he's doing a lot better than he was. He's been playing and eating better. So that all that's good. Nate was also up in the night. But anyway, we're just, like I said, we're just moving forward. Welcome to the video. If you're new, I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. And we would love to have you. I feel like I look a little bit washed out today. I didn't put any makeup on. I did a little bit of lip gloss and a little bit of mascara and called it good. <laughs> it is already almost 1030. I don't know how the morning, when you don't sleep good, I feel like it just makes the morning go by so slow because I'm just like dragging through the morning. But anyway, we are going to get out for a little while. I want to go back to Hobby Lobby because I want to get one more thing for Mark's room. And they were having such a good sale. I want to see if there's anything left that matches his stuff that's on sale. Um, also, and everything was 50% off. So even if it wasn't on sale, it would be 50% off. Um, he just needs something else kind of small to balance out a wall. And then Walmart is right beside Hobby Lobby. Do you guys hear? It's like breaking up now, which is a good thing. Um... Walmart is right beside Hobby Lobby, and I need more produce. I need meat. We're just going to, like, get the stuff we need. I was waiting for a sale, um, and there'll be time for that another time, but I just want to get the things I know we need. Um, I want to get it. You want to get it? Yeah. What do you want to get? Uh, a pink kettle. Oh, the pink Kindle's inside. Um, but anyway, we're going to hit the road and just kind of get out of the house a little bit this morning. Um, later on today, I need to take Lucy shopping for a birthday present for a friend. She got invited to a birthday party. She's so funny. She's only been here like a little over a week, and she's already got invited to a birthday party. So we got to go shop for a friend. Um, but all of that will take you guys with us. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. I've got my list on my phone. Um, and we'll just see how how it goes this morning so y'all come spend the day with us boom 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 can you tell everybody how you're feeling i make you feel better make you feel better yeah are you happy are you happy yeah okay let's go shopping you ready shop i said do you want to go to walmart he said yes <laughs> he was like going to get his shoes I go to walmart yeah. this walmart i didn't like it at first because it's very, like, congested. But they have crammed so much stuff in this Walmart. I actually kind of like it now. And it's two stores. Two stores? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's very, like, it. not as spread out as our old Walmart in Indiana was. But um, they do have a lot of things in this store. So I guess I kind of like it and I kind of hate it. <laughs> it's an experience to go in there. The aisles are, like, really small. Yep. So we're going to go running around for a little while. David is back at work after, you know, being home yesterday. So I'm glad that he's feeling better. And Nate and Sissy are at school. That's right. And where's Marky? In the seat. He's in the seat. Where's Mommy? It's in the seat. In the seat. And where's Layla? It's outside. She's inside. That's right. All right. So we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand Everyone needs someone to rely on Yes, everyone needs a friend So let's come together Celebrate each other Stand united as one we lift our hands up and pray Lay all our love before Him with all of our faith He is the change within us, there is a light Let Him lead the way Lift our hands up and pray today Oh, pray Everyone 
meet you guys. So this is the sign I ended up getting at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was with all the other like construction theme stuff like his room is. I liked how it's like made to look like kind of dusty and dirty. I don't know. I think it'll go great with his other sign. This was 50% off. So I got it for like $7 uh, with tax and everything. It was like right at $7. So that was good. Then we went into Walmart. The table's kind of a mess. So just look from like here over. Um, I wanted to get some stuff. I've been just trying to do a little bit better, eat a little bit less sugar and processed stuff. And just kind of after everything that we've been through, we've been like eating like crap, you know? And so I just want to get like whole foods back into me and like nourishment, take care of myself a little bit. So this is kind of what all of this is um, to kind of get me going. We have some things, but I just want to get some stuff to kind of round it out. But first of all, some stuff for the kids. I got some party pizzas for them. Um, we need to go to like Kroger. I think they have frozen pizza on sale this week, but these are like $2 a piece now. Shells and cheese for Nate. I really like beans and so does mark so i got two of the seasoned black beans and i really like their red beans so i got two red beans and a can of pineapple slices we have a fresh pineapple but that's just good to have in the pantry for frozen stuff we got some corn some mango chunks and some blueberries this looked really good the honey jalapeno hummus that sounds delicious what's wrong uh mark is about ready for nap time carrots we're all getting low so I got some more of that and then um I thought we would do burgers one night and ketchup is just so high in sugar it's not that big of a deal but I just thought if this tasted close um it's sugar-free ketchup maybe I don't know maybe it would be better a better option for me did I say tissues but not a tissues I'm meaning to get them tissues toilet paper We've also been out of apple juice, so I got another apple juice for the kids and another bag of apples. We're going through apples like crazy. I'm also eating a ton of salad. It's just that time of year where I want salad. So I got two packages of romaine hearts. My phone is driving me crazy. I'm about to throw it out the window because it's beeping so much. Um, and it's just like all junky stuff. It's not anything exciting. I need to go to Sam's and get like a big pack of their romaine hearts. But when I went on Sunday, they didn't have any. So... I also got some zucchini, some Ziploc bags. Oh my gosh, that phone. Uh, this is peanut butter that's just peanuts. That's it. Yeah. Ingredients, peanuts. So I thought when I make oatmeal or something to put a little bit of that in there would be good. I got a pound of frozen ground beef. I got some beef patties and some chicken. Way too much money for that, but um, I need to watch for a good chicken sale. Two containers of cottage cheese. Okay. Um, we love these long bell peppers, sweet peppers. Some more string cheese and some bananas. And I needed envelopes. So very quick haul, but there you go. All right, you guys. So now I'm coming in here and it's beeping. <laughs> um, I just laid Mark down for a rest. Um, he had a fun time at the store. He loved, Hobby. he loves Hobby Lobby. It's like so much stuff to look at, you know? Um, and I was proud of myself for only getting the thing I went in there for. I'm kind of running out of walls, so I have to, um, you know, rein it in a little bit. And you can always tell when it's time to wash my hair because I just throw it up and I feel like it looks terrible, but that's the kind of day and tiredness I am. I don't really care that much. Um, anyway, so I am trying to decide whether to take a nap or to, um, edit my video. I probably should edit the video for tomorrow because like I said, Lucy's got a birthday party tomorrow night and me and her are going to go shopping for the birthday present tonight. Um, and I know if I go ahead and get the video done, I won't have that like hanging over my head, but y'all, it's so tempting to lay down because I've lost track of how many sleepless nights I've had. It's been awful. Um, I will say that Mark seems to be, he still sounds bad. But in terms of his activity, he is ramped up like he's running and playing and, and all of that. So that is really great. He still gets kind of winded. Um, but yeah, it's been rough. So what we've decided from talking to the doctors and just doing our own deductions, there was a virus that went through the house and there was strep that went through the house. Two different things. Some of us just got strep. That would be Nate. He only had strep. If he had the virus, he didn't show any signs of it. Um, 
some of us just got the virus. Like David, he did not have any signs of strep. They went ahead and treated him for it, but I don't think he has strep. His throat wasn't hurting. It's not red or anything. Um, They went ahead and just gave him an antibiotic just because it's been going through the house and he could possibly get it, you know. Some of us had both, like me and Mark. We had the virus and strep, the high fever, um, uh, you know, sore throat, feeling awful. <laughs> Mark's has just lasted the longest, which makes sense. He's a little, he's the smallest, um, and I'm pretty I'm pretty like sure he had like bronchiolitis, um, which is you know not good. He, we did have him tested for RS, RSV and that was negative, so that's good. Anyway, I'm just glad to see him feeling a little bit better. I'm ready for him to feel all the way better. Nighttime is definitely the roughest. That's why he isn't sleeping well. Um, and even Nate, like I said, woke up early in the morning. But actually, he went back to sleep, which I was shocked. I'm not sure what we did to make him. He just went back to sleep. <laughs> no. And sometimes it's like you can do all the things. And thank you guys. So many of you guys are sending suggestions and stuff to try. Believe me, most things we have tried... Um, the doctors have pretty much told us like, welcome to autism. <laughs> like some kids just don't sleep very well. And Nate's been this way ever since newborn. It's not like, oh, he needs more activity or he's really bored or he can have the most active day. And a lot of times, like if he stays up late or if we're super active, like Disneyland or Disney World or, um, swimming all day and all that, it makes his sleep worse. It's really weird. It goes against logic. Um, it's like the more tired he is. And one doctor explained it to me as sleep begets sleep. So when he is in a good rhythm of sleep, um, he's more liable, more likely to have better sleep. And then if he's struggling and more tired and having rough sleep, which is what we're in right now, like he just had rough sleep, it's going to beget rough sleep. <laughs> so you would think he's really tired. He's going to sleep good. And it just doesn't happen like that. But um, I am going to try, I did order some magnesium. Several of you guys have asked if we had tried magnesium instead of the melatonin and we haven't. Um, usually melatonin works great for him, but it's not working that great right now. So I'm willing to try it. I don't really want to start with like hardcore like prescription medicines right now. I know that that's an option later down the road, but I think for Nate right now, it is just all the change um, is triggering the sleepless night, the transition season. And once we get past that, I think he'll be okay. But it always isn't like, I know we could always, you know, our neurologist that we saw always asked about his sleep and said, you know, if it gets bad enough, we can prescribe something. I just hate to do that unless we have to, but you know, sleep is important and you have to prioritize it. I can tell you, I felt horrible all week just because, well, I was sick, but also because <laughs> just lack of sleep, man. It's, it's rough. And I know Mark is Mark Rauchy because he's not been sleeping well. He's also on steroids and the inhaler and all that, which makes him not want to sleep and be a little grouchy. So it's just been a long week. But anyway, I actually got to Walmart and home without ways, so without any kind of map help and directions, which is not that big of a deal. But for me, it's a big deal because I have to have directions to do anything. So I've kind of figured out the main parts of town, like where the Walmart is, where the Kroger is, how to get there. Um, I still can't get to church without help. Uh, probably either one in the main campus or our church, but it's okay. It, it will happen with time. Um, we've gone to Walmart many times and there's not that many turns to get to Walmart. So anyway, I was trying to show you all in the clips that this Walmart has so many options. Like, did y'all see all the dipping sauces they had? They had all the Whataburger dipping sauces and that spicy ketchup is like my favorite. But like I said, I'm trying to like lessen the amount of sugar I'm getting because I feel like sugar is so addicting and the more sugar you eat, the more sugar you want. <laughs> so I'm just like, if I can just kind of cut out sugar, I wonder how much better I'll feel. So I'm just kind of experimenting right now. Um, you know, these last few months I've been running around taking care of so many things, but I have not been taking care of myself. And it's been so easy to go through the drive through at Sonic or, you know, McDonald's or whatever. I don't really even enjoy that. Like I would much rather have like a meal at home. I just haven't had the taken the time. I've had the time, but I have not taken the time to, um, cook it. So, um, anyway, I've got some sweet potato roasting in the air fryer. I'm going to have that with some cottage cheese, which I know that sounds weird, but it just sounds good to me, uh, for a little 
I'm still kind of intermittent fasting. It's one o'clock. I'm just eating for the first time, but, um, I just want to start prioritizing myself. Like I need to do it for myself. I need to do it for my children. And honestly, like I know I'll feel better too. So it, it's, it's always hard to start doing something like this and like, the easier option would be to just keep eating like crab, (laughs) but, um, you know, I know I'll feel better. So it's motivating. All right, you guys, I'm going to go eat my lunch and chill for a little bit. If just a couple hours before the big kids get home. So anyway, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, you guys, it is loud in here, but, and I'm not showing you the back part of my room. That'll be for another day, but I did get, everything this way (laughs) done so here is our bed I really like how it all came out I love the sign above the bed and the pops of yellow same bedspread we had um new bed frame really love our bed it's very like sturdy and like it just feels really secure you know sometimes you sit on a bed and you feel like I don't know like it's not really secure but this one is really nice uh, for just to be like a bed we bought on Amazon. But anyway, what do you guys think? I've got that picture hung over there, which is in our old bedroom. Um, and then on this side of the room, our wedding picture. So I just wanted to get like this part done. And I'm going to start working on back here where my desk and my dresser is. David's got to hang some stuff for me. But here's one half of my room. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in the car. So we're going to go shopping for Lucy's birthday party for Claire. So you told me she likes baking stuff and she likes art, right? So I thought we could start at five below. Man, I look so white <laughs> like I'm glowing. Um, we're going to start at five below and take it from there and see what we find. So let's get this show on the road. We haven't been to this five below yet, so let me... It'll be fun to check it out. All right, Lucy wants to show you guys what she picked out for her friend. So she doesn't want y'all to see it till she's ready. Okay, let's do it. A card. A card. You got everything at five below. Cake to eat, drinks to drink, wishes to make. It's your birthday. Celebrating. Okay. So I went ahead and got a gift bag because I didn't have a whole lot in this size in my stash. That's very cute. And it was only $1.50, so not too bad. Okay, show us the present. A cookbook. Disney Eats Cookbook. That looks really good. Ooh, smoothie bowls. Yum. <gasps> Your pancakes. You think she'll like that? She says she likes baking, so... Cute. Okay, show us the other thing. There's Gabby. <laughs> it smells so good. What is that? Jolly Rancher scented crayons. Jolly Rancher. Yeah, <laughs> I found that daddy's favorite. We knew you were going to be happy. Jolly Rancher scented crayons. <gasps> no, they smell good. Just give this no rip. Really good, actually. I had the hiccups all day. Okay. I in the vlog yesterday I hiccuped all day. What did you did you give me containers? I, I don't know. I have the hiccups. I'm blaming it all I can sleep. Hey. Oh yeah. Okay, Lucy, come on, let's finish this. I have the hiccups, which gave Mark the hiccups, which gave Mark Okay. The hiccups and other other thing you got it. Where's she? Nobody can see. You can. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> 70 yeah. colored pencils. Big thing of colored pencils. There was another, this was $5, and there was another one for $5, and it was like... 10 pencils. That, oh, okay. Last but not least, show them the last thing. It's not the last thing. Yeah, Color your own stickers. And now for the last thing. You're the present. Yes. I'm sure she's going to be so excited to have you. Okay, and then we got, we went to Kroger. They had the drinks three for 14, and they did have David's favorite. Oh, and then I got, I just remembered I ordered some foot stuff on Amazon, but I saw this. My feet are so cracked and horrible, so I got that to try. David, his feet are cracked too. I'm just kidding. 
Um, also, I got this facial scrub. Facial. St. Ives. Facial scrub. And then at Kroger, they have these plain yogurts for 32 cents. So I got two of those. I like to use those like as sour cream or I'll sweeten it with some fruit or something. And then I've been influenced. Someone I was watching on YouTube was using this chicken seasoning on their chicken and it looked really good. So I got that. And then blueberries were $1.99. So I got some blueberries. All right, you guys, I am so tired. David hung the pictures behind me. Um, hopefully they look okay. Oh man, I am so exhausted, but good news. Mark seems to have turned the corner today. He is doing so much better. Um, he's not, he's not having much trouble breathing and coughing. So I'm so thankful. He's still coughing, but it is, it's been so much better. Um, I just took a shower, blew dry my hair, and I am, like, looking forward to laying down. Like I said, I don't know how many nights in a row now I haven't slept, but I am just so exhausted. Um, we are going to have a quick, I hope quick, FaceTime meeting with some of our team from church. So, um, hopefully I can stay awake. I, like, I turn into a pumpkin at, like, 8 o'clock. I can't do anything up late. So, I am just such a, um... I'm definitely more of a morning person. So this is question of the day. Are you more of a morning person or evening person? Um, I've always been like more of a morning person. I've never been able to sleep in really a lot. So um, definitely more of a morning person. So anyway, David's got the hiccups. So he's asking me where something is. He doesn't know I'm filming. <laughs> so he had the hiccups. You guys heard him say this. He had the hiccups all day. I had them all yesterday. It's so weird. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And, um, you know, relaxing, whatever we did. <laughs> oh, um, Lucy is very excited about her birthday party tomorrow. I have a church worship night tomorrow. Um, so David's going to be taking her to the, uh, the, um, birthday party that that word just escaped me anyway i love you guys so much if you like the video make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below please subscribe if you're new everybody pray i sleep tonight i love y'all bye i've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on